Hello everyone, I thought I would start a new little reading vlog, just a casual weekend one, it's Friday, I am late for work and yeah, I just thought I would do this over the weekend and see how we go. I have finished a few books in the last couple of days, I finished Jane by Maggie Nelson and I finished Saving Agnes by Rachel Cusk, my first, first cask for the year. Yeah, I enjoyed Jane more than I enjoyed Saving Agnes. I will maybe give some info about that later. Because I am running late. And I don't know why I've sat down to start this vlog when I'm late. Uh, but I have started this book. How to Loiter in a Turf War by Coco Solid. Um... Or Jessica Hansel she is a musician and the name she goes by the name Coco Solid and a lot of her musical acts but this is so 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 good I'm only 40 pages in and I know already that I'm gonna absolutely love this book um, but again I have to say that for another time because I really do need to go but I wanted to start this vlog now okay I'm gonna read this on my walk to work and yeah catch up with you in a bit hello 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 uh we got a new bed so you're currently resting on the back of the headboard which is quite fun i am going to go get my nails done soon my nails have grown out a disgusting amount and then also a few of them have broken so I need to get that fixed because it's driving me insane um I also 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 got some book mail at work today that I've been wanting to open all day but I thought you know what we'll hold out we'll save it for the vlog because otherwise I won't have anything to film so uh, first of all, don't judge Book Depository. It's hard knock life getting books here in New Zealand. Um, so sometimes I do have to be ordering from Mr. Bezos. Right, first up we have Medea. This is a new version written by Rachel Kask. Yeah, I've never read any Greek drama, but Katie James has got me excited about it. I think it'll be fun to add to the whole project and nice way to kind of break it up a bit as well. So, okay, next one. Oh, Sexy and the Cherry by Jeanette Winterson. A lot of these books are like 2022 20, people's favorites. This was one of Ben Green's favorite books of 2022. It's supposed to be really weird. I haven't read anything really weird in a long time, so that could be good. Uh, I got The Member of the Wedding by Carson McCullers because I'm really into child narrators now. Uh, I got The Seas by Samantha Hunt. Bit of a different cover, but I kind of like it. I um, picked this up because of CJ and Iggy, loving it so much. Again, one of those books that isn't particularly my cup of tea, but I've heard enough people talk about it and talk about how much they love it that it's kind of convinced me to give it a go. So, I got it. There is one book, still missing two books. Two books? I can't remember. I think there might be two books missing from this. Yeah. Um, A Horse at, at Night on Writing by Amina Kane. Again, another book that I wasn't particularly interested in reading. I read Indelicacy by Amina Kane last year and I just thought it was so so. Um, but so many people read this and loved it, so I was like, okay, let's give it a go. Uh, so I, I, I picked two. So we're still waiting on two other books from this order, but that's my little 
book haul for you for today. They all look quite good together, don't they? Quite pretty. Maybe I'll talk about the book that I'm reading at the moment. How to Loiter in a Turf War by Coco Solid. I am halfway and I am having to stop myself from absolutely devouring this book because only because I'm reading it as a buddy read with someone uh, her name's Mika. She is another local, uh, well actually she's local to Waiheke so she gets to live in the beautiful part of kind of Auckland if you visited New Zealand and you know where Waiheke is you know. It's just an island in the Hauraki Gulf and anyone that lives there I'm like super jealous of because it's such a nice place. I fantasize about just opening a bookshop there because I don't think they have one. Not that I know of anyway. Mika and I are reading this together and I think she's only just started it today. Sorry, I need to stop playing with that. She's only started it today and yeah, I'm already halfway through. I'm also listening to the audio book, uh, which is read by the author as well, which is very cool. Definitely adds to the whole experience of reading. Um, it's a book about a group of three friends, three young women who are all culturally uh, mixed. So we have Pacifica, Māori, Asian, European. Oh, my camera's gonna die. I'm just gonna change the battery. Okay, where was I? Oh, you're in the background, right? Um, yeah, a group of three friends of Pacifica, Māori, mixed descent, who are watching and experiencing firsthand the results of colonisation in New Zealand and their neighbourhoods on a really kind of macro level. It's about gentrification, it's about colonization and it's speaking to this wider conversation and I guess asking questions or more highlighting how these these big these big questions around uh, socio-economic crisis and government decisions and colonization as a whole how they trickle down and actually affect people that we know. It's so funny. I love when a book takes a topic as serious as the ones that it's addressing in this, but addresses them in a really humorous way. I have underlined so much of it already. You can see. Yeah, it's also about like really close female friendships and the way that these girls support and connect with one another in really lovely ways. I can just tell that this book is going to be like a favourite already and I think everyone should read it. I think even if you're not from New Zealand, even though the setting might not be familiar, the the messaging is all there and yeah it's just so good it's so good it's so nuanced the writing is great it's fantastic highly 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 recommend even though i haven't even finished i know it's just going to be amazing i will most likely touch base again when i'm finished i'm thinking i might pick up lucy by jamaica kate i know i'm gonna pick it up because i'm gonna buddy read it with Nathan uh, from Nathan's Nook and I want to stop I, I want to keep reading this I want to finish it but I want to be a respectful buddy reader and so I'm gonna pick up Lucy instead and make a start on that even though that book is also only very short yeah that's all I have to say about that and we'll check back in when I've done my nails and they're looking less gross and grown out. I'm probably not going to go for anything special because I can't really be bothered deciding so I might just do like a plain Jane nail again 
and next time we can go for something fun. You know? Go for a walk? Okay? But I mean, if anything, it just adds to the whole aesthetic, right? Um, yeah, I finished my book, How to Order in a Turf War by Coco Solid this morning, and I absolutely loved it. I thought, oh my goodness, is there another poo? One moment. Yeah, that was really weird. Normally, it's a one poo on the walk dog, and he's just done two, so. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, finished my book. Loved it. Absolutely five star read. Thought it was perfect. Definitely has gone straight to the top of my list for the year. What a great way to start the year off with that good of a book. Um, I think I spoke about it a lot when I first mentioned it in this vlog, but yeah i think what i've noticed since then is just i guess when we <clears throat> we read about these topics like gentrification and concepts around colonization and the damage that it does to minorities and specifically new zealand maori and pacifica groups um they can often be these quite abstract other happening to other people type things and the thing I loved about this book was just how it showed and depicted the realities um, for real life people and, and, and what it does to them, what it can do to them. Um, yeah, it was just a really kind of balanced and honest depiction of these things in a way that I recognize in a way that I have seen um, I don't know if you've ever coming from where I come from and going back to that neighborhood and seeing how it's changed is both heartbreaking and also just the reality of what it's like to live live in these colonized places and yeah i had a really a really good conversation with a friend yesterday um about a lot of things and i guess just how how much thinking and how much emotional how emotionally heavy those things are for, for us as minor people to have to consider and think about and know that it's always going to affect us it's yeah it's it's pretty big but this book was really special and i think it, an important read and everyone who is a human should read it that's what i have to say um i might try to come up with some better thoughts later but for now 
that's those are my thoughts. Um, but yeah, we're off to the park. Should we go play? I have just read the first two chapters of Lucy and I I fucking love her she is having the worst time in this book but I don't know there's something about her miserable ass that I love Lucy by Jamaica Kincaid is about a young uh, West Indies woman girl who has uh, moved to a city I'm gonna say New York and is uh, the nanny for a white rich family. Much of it is her kind of being quite unimpressed with everything. She doesn't understand what people's obsession with the weather is and why it's this event that needs to be mentioned in conversation. She's not impressed by flowers and she has all these quite just opposite feelings to the people around her about certain things in life and it is it's really funny she is a very kind of sarcastic and dry narrator who yeah it's just like telling it like it is isn't gonna stand down to anyone which is interesting given her position of being in this unfamiliar place like she doesn't seem scared which I don't know if I was a young girl her age moving to a place like that for the first time and uh, working for a family in that way I'd be scared but she is very sure of herself and it's it's really good to read so far and um, I started this with Nathan so we've just been sending messages back and forth a little bit and um yeah I'm really enjoying it I know I'm gonna I knew I was gonna enjoy it Jamaica Kinkai's writing is great and she obviously likes to write from that perspective of that sardonic tone, which I just love. Yeah, I feel really tired, so I think I'm going to take a nap, <laughs> to be honest. I think I might have a shower and wash my hair first, though, because I need to do that. Uh, but yeah, honestly, not a lot going on, this, on in this vlog so far. But a lot of reading been get, been get, a lot of reading is getting done, so that is good.
Bye. I just had a shower. I feel so much better. I also feel uh, slightly more awake. I was very tired before. Um, my friend it just came around to grab a book that I lent her. I'm a little bit nervous about lending books, but I'm trying to be better. But I did just lend her my copy of Too Much and Not the Mood by Durga True Bow. So um, I hope she gives it back. I was just going to get some milk so that I can have a cup of tea because even though it's like very warm, I still need my little afternoon cup of tea. And yeah, I'm just going to keep reading Lucy because I'm really enjoying it. Uh, okay. Good morning. Happy Monday. Really, I do not be feeling like going to work today, but got to do it. This year just feels like it's starting off a bit aggressively to me. I don't know, does anyone else feel like that? I just feel like the ease that usually happens around this time of year is, isn't quite there. Anyway, um, we're still doing this reading vlog. I do kind of have this feeling of wanting to abandon it. Um, which is just something that I do every now and then. Yeah, I have this bad habit of recording vlogs, either going to edit them and being like, no, I don't want to, or like partway through editing them, decide that I don't want to put it out and then I just delete everything. But I'm trying not to do that this year because it's a waste of my time and yeah, I just don't want to be so particular about everything that goes out. Books that I'm reading, Lucy, read a bit more of her last night. She is definitely one of the best characters that I've ever read. I just love her confidence and her self-assuredness and just how, how unapologetic she is. Okay, camera battery died, so I had to change it. We were talking about Lucy. She's great. I love her. Um, yeah, Nathan and I have been having lots of good little messages back and forth about the book. He's obviously very, very smart and considered and thoughtful reader, so it's been a pleasure reading this with him. He pointed out how she... Lucy uses a lot of dream and memory to uh, position herself or kind of, uh, yeah, position herself in the world and her reality and everything kind of uh, relates back to, to something of the past or something that isn't quite tangible being memory or being dream, um, which is quite beautiful, it, it kind of in a way softens that, that side of her that is quite um, staunch and hard and um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I also started Roman Carver's What We Talk About When We Talk About Love last night, I mean I'm two stories in which is nothing. So I can't really comment on it just yet. Um, yeah, I think they're supposed to be interconnected short stories about uh, Middle America in the 80s. They're quite strange so far, the ones that I've read. And they are reminding me of a collection that I read last year by Hilma Wallitzer called Today a Woman Went Mad in the Supermarket. Definitely the same kind of oddness. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite know what it is about them. I guess a bit like poetry, you have to kind of read it in a different way. 
to regular kind of long form novels or, f or fiction. So I guess my brain is having to do a bit of reconfiguration as to what I should be thinking about while I'm reading them. Anyway, I should probably finish getting ready for work and then go to work and then come home and do bits around the house. Hi. Um, it's Monday. No, it's not. It's Tuesday. <sighs> what a day. I have come on here to show you some books that I got in the mail today. I got uh, some books that I ordered and then I got the cutest parcel from Sophie. Uh, first up, these are the last books from a recent order that I did. I got Heating and Cooling by Beth Ann Fennelly. Uh, 52 micro memoirs. I had seen this on my friend Jessica's uh, account and I think she liked it so we're gonna give it a go. Love that cover though. Uh, and then I got Quartet by Jean Race because I'm gonna buddy read this with Kieran from Kieran Reader. Um, I'm very excited about this. Sounds like I have an interesting whole story dynamic. We'll see. Um, and then I got three books from my friend Sophie who lives in Sydney but recently well, over Christmas and New Year was in the UK and she bought a lot of books and she bought me some and she also bought me Percy Pigs and Yorkshire Tea which I am so grateful for because I ran out of Yorkshire Tea at home and I freaking love Percy Pigs. She got my, me My Phantoms by Gwendolyn Riley, uh, which I have seen quite a few people reading and enjoying. I think most recently Hannah May has read this and enjoyed it. It's about a divorced mother. I've got First Love by Gwendolyn Riley as well that I'm looking forward to reading. Sounds like she likes to write about difficult relationships, so okay. I love that. I got uh, The Gastronomical Me by F MFK Fisher. I've read uh, Consider the Oyster and I loved it. So wanted to read more from her and I heard that this is a great um, next step. Cute little bookmark. And this is obviously a Daunt Books one. That's where she went. Um, and then lastly, she bought me a poetry collection by Nina Mingya Powells, which is so lovely because I very nearly bought this for myself the other day. But I don't know, something about it was like, mm. something about me was like, don't do it. Not because I didn't want to, but I don't know. Part of me must have known that she had purchased it for me. So thank you, Sophie. You spoil me. She also got me this beautiful scarf that I think I'm going to wear as a top because it's, it's tray cute. I'll go get it. Okay, this is it. These are the colours. You know? You know the vish? Gypsy. Like a gypsy top. Oh, okay, Rupert thinks I look like a gypsy. Cool. Well, I think it's gonna look cute as a top. Just with like some black jeans, maybe a little jacket over top. Feel very spoiled, feel very lucky. And I think this is a good place to end this vlog on. Hopefully it's half decent and you've had a good time. Not a lot has happened in the last few days, but that is my life. I can't really create interesting things just for video content, so yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. See you. Bye.